So when I carve a new bear, um, I always explain to those people who adopt one of my bears things that they need to know. This pine will probably crack, and when it does, I'm, I've shown you how to, or will show you how to uh, deal with those cracks. As these cracks begin to occur, they'll be more prominent in some bears than others. But uh, here, I've taken a torch to it, propane torch, and just very uh, quickly uh, blended that into the wood a little bit so it doesn't, it, it just becomes part of the mystique of a chainsaw carved bear. I will take a propane torch and uh, I will just go ahead and burn the sides where the split has occurred and I'll show you what I'm doing. So, you take your torch and go quickly. And that'll take care of it. If the bear cracks, splits, and then you go ahead and take the torch and darken it up a little bit, it just adds character to the bear. And uh, our bears, a lot of times, will crack, split, and, and uh, you won't even notice it when you're looking at the bear uh, in total. It just is part of the bear. But I also have bears put up on these little sticks and uh, keep them off the ground for three to six months. Because with fresh pine, when I'm making fresh pine, uh, they have a tendency sometimes to get a little moisture on the bottom of them and uh, that moisture if it's left on a carpet or on a floor can begin to mold and so you can prevent that by putting this on temporarily. Bears will last forever if they're kept inside a house or away from humidity, rain, sun. Put them outside and they will disintegrate uh, quite rapidly. So if you want your bear to last a long time then of course I would recommend that you keep bears in the house. Sometimes when a crack happens near an eye, you might want to take that eye out or try to replace it if something happens to it. If for some reason an eye needs to be replaced, these eyes have a stem on the back of it and uh, if you go to pry that out a little bit, you might be able to ease that eye out of there. But sometimes when you're easing it out with just a knife, and I, and I previously did this, it snaps off the stem. And so then you just work on this stem gradually to pull it out. When you're prying this stem out, take some paper and put it right here so that you're not gonna damage the rim here and try it that way and then work on trying to get this stem out that way. Another possibility is you get it out far enough, you can take these pliers and get a grip and then twist and pull or the other possibility is you take this and you drill right into the center and then once you drill into the center it'll pull out those are the possibilities for getting that eye out So get in touch with me if you need an extra eye, and I'll send you one. And um, I have these light brown eyes with black pupils, and I have these dark eyes. So I have a limited supply of eyes, and not sure how long I'm going to be doing bears, but for those people who have adopted one of my bears, so long as I have an eye or two uh, and you need one, let me know, and I'll do my best to, to get that to you. Okay, thanks.